Aren't you tired of trying to guess the best refresh schedule for your Power BI datasets? What if there was a better way to trigger them automatically at the end of your ELT process? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can refresh your Power BI datasets using Synapse pipelines. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Mariusz here with Cloud Data Labs. And if you find value in this video, make sure you hit that like button. Before we get started, you will need few things to follow along with this tutorial. First, you will need Synapse workspace to be able to create the pipeline. Second, you will need access to Active Directory to be able to create and manage security groups. You will also need to be an admin in Power BI service so you can adjust tenant settings. Finally, you will need Power BI workspace with an existing data set. And with that said, let's start by going into Azure portal. Here, the first thing we need to do is to create the security group where we will add Synapse Workspace Manage Identity as a member. To do that, let's go to Azure Active Directory resource. Here, we're going to click on groups and add a new group. For the group type, we're going to leave it as it is. Let's give it a meaningful name. Now we need to add a member. This will be the managed identity of the workspace in which we're going to create the pipeline. Let's search for it by name. Click on it and press select. Now let's hit create to save the changes. Now that our security group is in place, let's go to Power BI service to configure the necessary access. Here, let's go to admin portal and in tenant settings, scroll down all the way to developer settings. Here we need to expand allow service principles to use Power BI APIs and toggle it to enabled. And we're going to apply it to the security group we just created. Next, we need to scroll down to admin API settings and enable Allow service principles to use read only admin APIs. Here we're going to apply it to our security group as well. And finally, we will do the same for enhanced admin APIs response with detailed metadata. Next, we need to ensure that our security group has the right access in the workspace in which we have our data set. To do that, let's head over to the workspace, click on access, and enter our security group name. Let's select it from the dropdown and hit add. Now to refresh the data set, we will need to use API call. This will require us to provide workspace and data set IDs. Here's how to get them. In the workspace, click on the data set you wish to refresh. Now, when you look at the web page address, you will notice that there's two hash IDs. One begins after groups forward slash and ends before forward slash data sets. And this is your workspace ID. Let's select it and copy it for later. The second one starts after data sets forward slash and ends before forward slash details. Let's copy this one as well. Looks like we have everything in place to build our Synapse pipeline. Let's go to Synapse workspace to do that. To build the pipeline, select integrate. Then click on add new pipeline. Give it a meaningful name 
And now let's add two parameters. The first one will be groups. And the second, data sets. We can use these parameters for the values that we copied from the Power BI URL earlier. In fact, let's just paste it in for the default values to make our debugging easier. Now let's add web activity to our pipeline so we can perform the API call. We give it a name and now we can jump into settings. Click on the URL text box and add dynamic content. Here you can paste in the URL that is provided in the description below. If you have a closer look, you will notice that it references both parameters that we have created earlier. Now we can press OK. For the method, let's select post. In the body, paste in the JSON string provided in the description below. Let's select System Assign Manage Identity for the authentication. In the resource, we will paste in resource URL from the description below. Now we are ready to test the pipeline. So let's hit the back. You will be prompted to provide the values for the parameters we created earlier. But let's just use the defaults here and press OK. Now let's just wait for the pipeline run to end and see the results. And as you can see, it was a success. Now that we have tested our pipeline and confirmed that it was successful, we can proceed to the final step of verifying that our dataset has been refreshed. To do this, we head back over to Power BI Service and click on the Schedule Refresh icon next to our dataset. Here, we want to look at the refresh history and find our run. As you can see, the last run was via API type and it has completed successfully. And that's it. By following the simple steps, you have successfully created Synapse pipelines that triggers Power BI dataset using an API call. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.